we would be looking at uh, product design uh, today, product design. So um, think about it, you know, um, in production and operations uh, management, uh, of course, it is more in terms of uh, producing something. So sometimes people are about manufacturing, uh, but if Uh, in the pro conceptualizing the product, um, you are thinking uh, how it should how it should look. Uh, what should be the aesthetics of the product? What should be the design? Um, look around wherever you are in a room, or maybe you are outside, or uh, look at any anything. Uh, look at like right now. I'm looking at the wall, windows, uh, telephone, fan. Uh, even this screen, uh, look at the design of anything, whatever is nearby, uh, and try to appreciate it. Look it deeply because we don't we don't necessarily look at look at the things. So um, even the window, if you are looking nearby, you you know that the window is there. But have you taken time to really look at the window? Like, don't think about any other thing. Look at any object. Look at this the 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 desktop or look at the phone or look at the fan and look at how various things, how it, how it looks. Uh, what is the, for example, what is the, what is the, like, I'm looking at the fan, the thickness of the rod, for example, the, where the, where different buttons are. Uh, and then, for example, just a while ago, I was reflecting that these buttons, the switches, uh, which are to turn on and off. Of course, they are on the on the on the on this fan also. But generally, you go in any room, you would see the see the buttons. Generally speaking, uh, yes, there are uh, motion sensitive sensors also where you know you if someone walks in, they the light turn on, and uh, when there is no movement, that lights turn off. That is again very interesting. But look at look at various buttons. Um, like in your office, what, how the how that button is different. Um, if you if you ever done some type of construction or something, or you would see that the the wire man, the electrician is going to you know say, oh, there are many options of button. What type of buttons you would you would want? Uh, like there are rotators, there are uh, upward downward movement, uh, inward outward movement, different types of things. So think about it. How these, uh, how these, uh, how these, the people who are behind it. What are the things they are thinking about when they are designing simple thing, like you know buttons. Um, maybe you are sitting right now. So look at look at the 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 structure of your seat. Uh, how various things are on it. Uh, like when we are in university, there are you know different types of seats. Like uh, some of them you have. A little, 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 little wood, or little like they, they, they bring the desk. Uh, they try to bring the desk and the seat together, uh, and then different types of seats where you can, you know, make it into a bed, for example. So, so I really would like you to, you know, reflect on different things. Maybe you are in the room and look at the, you know, look at various things and try to think what was. What was behind it? Like, what were the things the designer might be thinking? Uh, um, those type of things. Yes, maybe Melissa want to say something. Yes, Melissa. Uh, oh, no problem. Maybe by mistake her hand was raised. Um, so look at look at these things. Um, and right now we are talking about like tangible things, which which. Yes, Mel, what are you saying? Sorry, sir, I wanted to ask, you made a reference to the book a couple of times. Well, I should say every week um, of, of us having classes so far, but I'm not able to download the book. I'm not getting any access to the book from the sites that are online to get the book at all, to read from the book. I, I, don't, I don't know, because I was asking earlier in the chat if anyone was able or to download it, because I'm not able to download the book at all. 
okay the book is book is, books are available in the in the library so you might want to you know go there and see if you can get copy or photo state or maybe some people can get it and then maybe distribute it or just go there and libraries i think open and you would have to i think go there uh, if it is if it is not available available online that is that is what what i can say i borrowed the i borrowed the book some time ago and then i returned it so they should have they should have the copies yeah so in terms of design okay. for example uh, so what i was saying a while ago yeah no problem uh, and what i was saying uh, a while ago like the tangible like these buttons and the fan and the window these things which you can touch but think about it like in in terms of things which maybe we cannot really yeah we can touch but maybe they are in uh, in some software for example the for example you use instagram uh, the layout of instagram they 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 change it every every like maybe 6 months 8 months 1 year they change the they change the where where what is what is where like in the settings they would change some buttons in the way it looks it they would change some things even the even the logo you guys might remember like 2 3 years ago i think they they changed the logo of uh, of uh, of instagram um maybe i should just run a google search and uh, yes you should do this yourself but i can share the screen with you guys too okay you should be seeing on your screen right now like look at this this these logos on the on the right hand side of of your screen right now you would see 2010 logo and then 2011 they change it and 2016 to now okay if time flies it has been like 5 years i thought 2 3 years yeah so so see how they they change the what is this this is also design of the design of the of the logo so they design they change the design uh, of their logo why companies why do you think companies change design of their logo uh, um uh, this is a product insta instagram is a is a product and we are trying to discuss product design so they why they have to although it is not a tangible tangible thing which you can really hold uh in your phone directly you would have to hold a phone to hold instagram or whatsapp and same is for whatsapp you can run a google search on that how they have been using uh, how they have been changing the the design the layout if i can if i can say that they have been changing that and uh, facebook uh, i have not been using facebook for some time i deactivated it but uh like that like till the time i i was using it and i'm sure they are doing still the same they are changing the layout every now and then um and on on one hand we say that uh, you know uh, uh similarity or um or uh, familiarity uh, brings people close like similarity familiarity like something common common ground shared values we have been talking about all of those things like when you make friends you there has to be some things common um to make uh, to make friends so when when they why they then we are like their friends on on instagram and uh, facebook and why they would want to change it every now and then yeah this is very interesting question to really think about it is linked with your marketing class i think you should discuss this this there in more detail and other and on the on the other hand like familiarity we would say like things should be common and then there is another saying that opposite opposite attracts yeah <laughs> so it is quite quite interesting thing to think about uh, like they they want they want a little bit of a, maybe maybe i can give you a pointer to think about maybe they want maybe they want a little bit of a challenge for 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 uh, for people like you know maybe they want a little bit of a challenge for people like they don't want them to be very like like very uh, like take it for granted that we know it like a little bit of a suspense like when i go on instagram what would be different or colors would be different 
and they are keep on bringing in new things like filters and other type of emojis and stuff like that um uh, it is very interesting um um like even with even think about relationships um if you find someone and uh, in the beginning there is a little bit of there is more fire why do you think there is more fire in the in the beginning of relationships um there is more attraction there is more of everything uh, why is that and then uh, and then after a while uh many times not always but many times the the spark is not there why is that because maybe you have known a lot of things about about the person and now there is there is nothing new you are not finding something 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 new uh on the other hand when we would meet someone we would like to tell them you know things and you would like to know more and then uh so these things are linked these things are like with human psychology these things are uh very much linked but let me not deviate too much not let me not go in psychology like pepsi logo uh this is very interesting it has been changing uh over a period of time look at this now this is the the picture let me make it history and meaning behind pepsi logo yeah it must be a i have not read it i'm just running google searches just like with you guys but i'm sure this is going to be very interesting i know this from before but you should you should read it uh, look at this this is this is the early logo the design of uh, their product you can call it this is pepsi is the product logo is part of uh, the product and designing the logo how it has been changing over up and this then this very cool uh, this shows this shows you like yeah, all of them like 1898 1905 19 no 6 1940 50 1962 it's quite interesting um uh, so why think about it why companies uh why companies change their product design uh uh i've started talking about logo from talking of uh, talking talking about buttons and then my mind deviated to logos uh and then this and then today it is this something is common yes the the blue and red they once they added the blue in 1950 they are keeping it and red from the beginning from day one they are they are keeping it uh this is but then they are changing the they are changing making the changes and why it is so important to think about logos um you should look into insta i gave you example of instagram and pepsi there are so many other examples you should now you should do some research but behind this uh, and also uh, one more thing uh, what do you think how much money it would cost uh, let's say pepsi to to change their to change their their logo uh, how much money is spent uh run a google search on this and try to find out i don't remember the exact price but it was okay look at this Uh, and let's go to the chat because i think someone posted yes grant is saying to keep to keep relevant and person's appetite change people like when things are new they are in to find out about the strategy yes yeah, so the strategy is is i think one thing which you might want to think about yes uh yes sir and uh, remember so that as the strategy of of the yeah please go ahead Yes sir remember that people's tastes and preferences change over time and i think it was done ali said Very in the good. chat that um as you know technology is evolving um basically every year so they want very to keep up with that as well very good very good mel very very good so technology is maybe maybe changing uh but that is more now like in last 10 years maybe 15 years Uh, so you can think about technology and then 
and then people's people are changing people's preference is changing the consumer pre preference is changing uh, you can think about all of those things uh, and also i because i think um, this is important i think strategy i think like a company strategy how they are you know reaching out because all the things which you guys are mentioning what donna mentioned what mel is mentioning they are they are you know it's part of part of strategy like how how they want to how they want to engage their their consumer uh, after of course understanding the consumer and then what mel is saying is very interesting to that you know the people are changing all the time and all of these things so can you think about some logos for example which which have been same for a for a very very long period of time like you know some um, you should do some research on that and try to find that are there companies which which are not necessarily changing their 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 logo uh, what about companies in in jamaica how are they designing their uh, products what are are they are they designing it on their you know like uh, like how they are what is the what is the thought process behind the behind the design of the of the of the product are they waiting for uh for the innovation coming from other countries or we have done some type of product design in our in our own country um uh, like small and medium sized businesses local businesses if you if you look at their product you will see that every now and then they are they are trying to do do something uh, from the first session i recall when we were we were trying to discuss the bottles and uh, uh, when we were yes artwork yeah artwork that that is that is that can be that can be part of this uh, from the first session i remember when we were talking about you know i think why cinco and water bottles and we were talking about the cap size and the amount of less plastic which is which is which is being used uh, they are trying to cut on plastic all that is part of design um and then now you know nowadays when you go to find uh, you know pepsi coke you will see them in very small bottle sizes what is that why it was not like this i think 3 4 years ago uh, when we would go um in the in the supermarket to buy pepsi coke these type of you know uh, colas it was there was standard size uh, like for one person and of course then they had 1 liter and 2 liter those big size bottles yes but for one person there was one standard size which was all over the island and then there were glass bottles also i don't know if they i have not seen glass bottles lately uh, from from pepsi uh, at least uh, but i'm sure there must be some some shops which sell glass bottle also but generally plastic bottles are are more in common but what i'm trying to say that over over like maybe last 3 4 years something like this you might have seen like smaller smaller sizes of bottles from pepsi coke why do you think that that happened you can link it with economy um um the recession all over the world which came and then other things and then buying consumer consumer buying uh, power uh and then uh, you if you the the size you had already how much you could how much you could decrease that price so they said maybe uh, make a smaller smaller product uh product design smaller bottle and then new price uh for that uh, and that you would see in other things also um so yes price price reach volumes those type of things you would want to uh, maybe think about um <laughs> sir yeah please yeah um as you mentioned size and 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 the reason why different different um changes come in size i recall um about i don't know if it is pepsi but because um in in mm -hmm. asia or the asian countries that is that are japan or china they they minimize the size of the of the tin because of the mm -hmm. the powder that the hand of these people are, like small um food just for mm. handheld hand handheld so they they adjusted it according to the, 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 the where they where where, where they, it was being sold very good very good very good very good very interesting very interesting observation those of you who don't know you should run a google search and you will find these type of things 
and other things also like you know as as our friend is mentioning this example it took me to asian markets and very interesting things i i may be read uh, for example you know how they design their offering uh, like you know kfc uh, mcdonalds how do they design their offering that is also a product when we go and buy for example uh, value meal or big meal or different names uh, i would not know what are the names you can you can run a on many of the different names in jamaican market if if you don't know so you know value meal and these type of things so um um i think um, i was reading something or maybe someone from from those countries uh, told me uh, in one of the discussions that uh, you know they offer different type of things like like in in different markets where people will, would consume rice rice they would include that like companies like kfc and uh, mcdonald they would include rice in their in their offering because that is what what people consume uh, noodles and stuff like that you know different in different markets you will see that the design of the menu uh, which is product products are on the menu so they are like designed differently and then there is this common thing like you know we always say this i have not experienced myself but people say that the the um the the taste of uh, of kfc is different in jamaica than when they go overseas so that is also part of although also this is taste but this is part of the part of the uh part of the strategy when you are thinking about like strategy of a business how they should reach uh to their uh to their select target audience or in which culture as one friend is talking about yes culture into strategy i think that is that is very important cultural preferences about how how sweet it should be or or how sour it should be you are thinking about these things and then uh, then you and then there is another thing with this another thing is that you don't want to change it too much also like think about this like if you like kfc and you like it in in jamaica if you go let's say let's say you go in thailand and you go there to a kfc you are going there with some expectations like you are familiar with one type of taste so yes they would change it in thailand yes but it should not change so much that the consumer says that this is not this is not kfc this is something else it should have some things common and that is why i brought this thing this is a very good example of of that what you are seeing on on the screen yes you can you can argue that they have fundamentally changing the the logo design but they have ensured that there are few things which which they keep in in common and it is not just as you can see it is not just the it is not just the the colors it is also other things for example uh, for example you can uh, you can say the 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 circle the circle is something common in uh, in almost uh, all of them uh, since uh, since 19 uh, 19 uh, 19 uh, 1950 if i can say uh, or something like that uh, so uh, yeah so uh, there is some thing like that so as they need to think as one friend was mentioned that the 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 size was the size was um, they made the size so it fit in the hands so you want to you want to change the 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 product for obvious reasons because you want to keep your consumer engaged and all of those things and uh, beautiful things written in the chat also uh, and what others other friends said in the uh through voice all of that they are changing but then they don't want to change it too much also so that it remains a a global business in terms of you know it is is a conformance is there uh similarity is there um because let's say you know if someone likes pepsi and they are consuming it in jamaica they go to they go to some other country they go to some you know some china or anywhere they go to germany and they order a pepsi it has to it has to taste uh, it has to taste same if it is too much different then it would not be it would lose the lose the thing so uh you need to think about product design in terms of you know different see how challenging it can be and um uh, it's very challenging extremely challenging uh 
because you want to look at the local local uh, preference local culture and then you need to link it with your own strategy international strategy uh, so it is quite quite difficult to to really do it and then to really uh, uh, make it kick off and uh, if you if you run a search you will find that there are so many businesses who fail when they are entering in international markets very few products uh, really go like fast food companies how, how many companies you can you can really say who are really gone like they, they are like really really accepted in international domain like worldwide worldwide global reach how many businesses are there are so many fast food so many so many so many but if you if you are going to look at like the real international dominance how many are there five six seven maybe and even through that who has like majority of the share we all know that yeah it's very few very few yeah uh, same for carbonated drinks there are so many carbonated drinks in the water so many so many uh, but then how many are when we are talking about you know black black soda how how many there is just there are of course there are other mark other other good ones also even in jamaica there are there are many other international uh, black soda is available like dr pepper and so on so many others but if you're talking about global reach it is it is pepsi and coke uh, same way for fast food it is you know uh, kfc and even like the mcdonald is is i think uh, you would have to look at the stats i don't want to say something which is maybe not statistically correct so run run a google search on market share and and so on um, yeah timing we have uh, spoken about that timing is um, so many things have to write when uh, product design is you know um, or launch of the business yeah this is uh, let's look at the so i was saying run a google search on you know how much money it it cost so look at look at this this is i think uh, you will find this interesting and uh, if you can now maybe link more with what I have been saying. So um, estimated cost rebranding the entire Pepsi was uh, 1.2 uh, billion, 1.2 billion USD, 1.2 billion USD. Yes. Uh, and uh, the logo mark unknown because we were discussing logo. We don't want to like broaden our conversation too much because then there are so many things and of course we need to make some conclusions from our discussion <laughs> otherwise we can go on and on on this but let's stick to logo so when you look at logo mark the price is 1 million uh, usd 1 million usd guys just to change the logo and on the right hand side you can see what change is brought before this one is before I really want you to, you know, please pay attention to your screen and see this. Yeah, please take a moment. If you are doing something else, you can go back and do that thing. But <laughs> look at this right now. Before, this is the shape of the logo. And after investing 1 million USD, this is the shape. Yes, it would be very interesting for you if you are interested in this type of topic. You should, you know, run some searches read their reports what this means and how this is linked with the strategy this shape red one going upwards and then this even this like nothing is by chance on this it is not that they just they just made it like this every curve every like the everything means something uh in this so just from this to this pepsi invested 1 million usd and don't think that they have you know extra money and they are just just flushing it away nothing like that very deliberate move and then you can see that how their their sales figures improved after this and so on very sir, interesting it looks, uh, sir, it thing. Looks like a smile as well as it looks like a mouth being open there's so much that can be attached to me very good very good very good, very good. so opening of opening of mouth yeah opening of mouth and something like that you can think about that so good pointers, um, Terry. Well done. But as you guys will read, uh, 
i don't like to disclose too much to you guys i would like that you read and then you reflect on it and then make your own conclusions yeah and then see or you can i'm not asking you to you know look into this so because i like this company i have told you already that is why i am talking about this but you should find your own companies whatever you like because then it would be easier for you to uh, read on that and and uh, and so on yeah uh, so product product design um other things you can you can you can think about like even these these bags which we which we which we use how the how the design of those bags have been have been changing over the years and then especially in last one year two year three years something like that from the shift from plastic to plastic to uh plastic to uh um what is that paper and other different types of papers eatable eatable one yes very good eatable very good very good very good this is what i was thinking eatable so then now you can you can run some some you know some uh, uh, google search uh, like for example water bottle uh, which uh, dissolves like um, i would have to show you uh, because uh, uh, there are there are bottle waters as long as the water is inside the inside the inside the bottle it stays uh but when the bottle is is out uh the uh, when the water is out the bottle is kind of, uh, it is hard to explain you using word let me show you uh here it is for example you know as you guys as uh, carry helped me to think about this uh, she said eatable so yes eatable things are there um, look at this one yeah yes so biodegradable water bottle made from lg l guy um, yes please run google search on this and uh, try to read on this this picture shows you like when the when the on the on the far right the water is inside the bottle so bottle stays and then water is gone and then as you are drinking water the 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 bottle is getting reduced and when there is no water in it it just uh, it just gone yeah is very interesting concept yeah so think about it we um, we are uh, we are uh, we use uh, these bottles all the time um and what happens to the to the to the ones in which we drink water of course we can say that we keep some of them in our house in fridge uh and we reuse them and uh, those type of things but how many we can reuse uh, uh, uh you know now this just i was this just just last night or the night before last night two nights ago i was going home and uh, a taxi was in front of me and uh, someone from that taxi threw a bottle right on the road it's beautiful you know this this road uh, uh, the zoo road um, near ligni um, it's beautiful road uh, i was not seeing any dirt or anything it's clean and uh, someone just you know from the taxi i don't know if it was the front seat or back seat just like that uh, it was late in the night i think it was almost 10 uh, was trying to go home before before the curfew time and the taxi was uh, someone just put it outside yeah so and i'm sure you have seen this uh, you like on the beaches you have seen this like so many like plastic is just uh, just out there people are just not throwing it in the right place all of all of all the people i am not trying to you know blame any any particular person or i am not even trying to stereotype the taxi taxi people or the people sit in the in 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 taxis i have seen it from all walks of life even the people who are educated and uh, and uh, stuff like that i have seen them do similar type of thing also 
every now and then i'm sure you will you would have seen too so think about that if if that bottle is is degradable now it takes far more time to uh to a uh, far more time to to really change the culture of of uh, of of a country like if you say that let's change the culture of of jamaica and you know, what was that uh, what was that campaign campaign don't don't dirty jamaica something like that there was some campaign also uh, it was uh, not that englishish people it were says, trying to do jamaica. don't dirt, don't dirty not dirty of jamaica <laughs> no dirty of jamaica yes no dirty of jamaica yes yes very good yeah so uh, what happened to that a uh, lot of advertisement and stickers and all of that but uh, uh, so what i'm trying to say it takes it takes it takes a, 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 a lot of time to really really change uh, change the um, the culture of those people uh, whoever are involved in these type of things but this type of thing can be done so if if they are going to still i'm not trying to promote that we should we should just throw throw these things away but uh, but uh, like if you have this type of bottle then uh, then uh, you know uh, then um, then even if someone throws it uh, it is uh, it will it will uh, it will it will go away um, because it is going to uh, degrade on its own and even even when the the garbage is collected uh, like our companies when they collect the garbage uh, even no matter what they do wherever they bury or different methods are there uh, still it it takes uh, it takes quite a few of uh, of energy to really um, to really um, you know uh get rid of uh, that junk uh whatever it is so that is why companies are going towards towards this various things you can this this now this conversation is now linked with environment sustainability uh you can look into united nations goal i think they have 17 18 goals something like that and one of them is environment sustainability and various companies are required to you know do things to ensure that uh, that environment is sustainable um, um you can also same way just like terry mentioned uh, she mentioned um, eatable you know uh, eatable uh, plates eatable all of that you're going to find uh, so that you can you can you can think about i was trying some very interesting example was in my in my head a while ago but i i lost it but anyways doesn't really matter because i think uh you guys now do some some research on this or anything an example you have in in mind for product design or these type of things which we are talking about do you really appreciate like a design of any product any design any product design which has helped you to do your uh, house housework like you know uh, there are very interesting types of you know uh, things with different type of designs uh, what is that you know different types of toaster toasters uh, um, how they are designed uh, in one time how many you can you can um, you can how many how many uh, how much bread you can toast in one time um that is interesting design instead of doing it on the on the on the stove directly um as i'm thinking about kitchen i was reading about these uh, these knives uh where um you put them back in their in their space and then they 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 sharpen themselves on their own um yeah let me um let me share it again yes look at look at this uh the knives that uh, as you can see on your screen the knives that sharpen themselves a knife that sharpens itself every time you use it yeah 
it's very interesting and then there are other type of things like uh, um, like these you know you when you put it back in this in this area it would uh, i don't remember the name exactly which knives i was looking i would really have to search to find out but run search on this um you will self sharpening knives something like that uh, so you put them back in this and then they they sharpen themselves it's quite quite interesting uh, design of for example bulbs these energy savers and all of that you can think about that that too but anyways um, i'm asking you guys uh, give me some example of any product uh, whose design you really like design of any product it can be a chair it can be your your bed uh, it can be something in your house something at your work any everything is product whatever you are seeing around you right now everything is a product so i am uh, i am trying trying you to uh, uh, think about this uh, please tell us any product or any service doesn't really matter because it is more about design than product or whatever like any product whose design you you really like or okay rekel has uh, has done some research so faucet that turns it itself off very good yes so please tell tell us any any design any design of any product which you like which you appreciate which makes your things easier anything on that can any anyone give some example before i move desktop pc okay what what about it what is in the desktop pc which which you which you which you which you like yeah uh be specific a little bit uh yes guys please please tell us any product product okay. design if you like so there is this um type of knob that you i don't remember the name of it that you attach to your this the knobs on your stove that you can actually use your smartphone and be in yeah. there and turn turn the stove off i'm not quite i don't remember the name of that now mm. okay very 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 interesting krista uh, like you are attaching you are attaching um, the the stove knob with something on your a smartphone and then you can maybe you know <laughs> maybe you can uh, you can monitor that that is very interesting and this takes us to whole concept of smart houses smart houses where everything is you know linked with the uh, everything can be linked through technology you can you can turn on and off you know your uh, your um, your uh, your lights your the heat the coldness in the house fans um uh, gates locks anything literally uh, turning on the machine washing machine turning it off everything can be linked using using a smartphone there are apps and things available and these things are becoming more and more uh, affordable um as a matter of fact uh, my brother has uh, installed some very interesting lights in his uh, in his room smart lights and uh, as he as he drive in he would before he would even enter the enter the house he would uh, he would turn on his lights and things like that <laughs> from his car using his phone uh, that is very interesting and and uh, and cool and different shades of lights and coming from it so very interesting things uh very interesting uh using remote the 
you should think think of terry has given some example um screen is flatter yes other think about even small things you know uh, many things which uh, children use their 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 design is uh, at least i find it quite uh, quite in uh, interesting uh, i'm trying to remember um uh, some things uh which is which you would see let me share it uh share the screen again it would be easier for you to understand what i'm trying to say so at this uh different type of toothbrush um uh, see how their design are very different and uh, like these ones there was they were in my mind like this one so how they are look at this how how it is attached with the wall and uh, how they have made different uh, different uh, different pointers or um different places for for the brush to hang and they are comparing it from before for most of us we keep keep our uh, brushes and stuff like that uh, like you can see on the left hand side of your screen like in a glass uh, i myself have a have a glass and in that glass i have i have my my brush and uh, these type of thing to i am talking about yeah so but look at this this is now you know you can hang it or something and there are other very very fancy you know very and is they are not expensive it's almost price like for children they have like these brushes uh i went to someone's house and they they have they have a child uh, and uh, there i saw this this brush which was which was stuck with the which, which you could stick with the wall um i'm not now i could have shown it but uh but what i would really like you to like you know maybe when you go to um go to uh, just start observing in your environment in your home look at the design of various things and think a little bit deeper look really look we are looking things but we are not really looking looking in terms of appreciating the aesthetics and how they feel and all of those things so look around and find some products which you which you can look a little bit deep like even if it is a window how it slides what is the mechanism how they have you know done that thing um uh, even simple things like you know plates different plates have different design how what goes behind uh, making those type of plates when you go in the grocery store supermarket you see a lot of products yes and similar type of products are placed in the same area like uh, like hair brush you go in that area of hair brush you're not buying anything you're just going there and you just see how different brushes are different their design is different 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 yeah appreciate it and see you know how they how what is going behind it how they are making different type of uh, um designs for the for the brush a simple thing um uh, yes very good uh, excellent point uh, construction industry um amazing stuff um amazing amazing they have really 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 different type of materials they are they are using uh, to construct and uh, i'm sure you are you are aware that uh, in kingston some some construction has happened where uh, they did not construct using the regular regular method which we use like bricks we put bricks blocks we use blocks we don't use bricks so blocks block construction that is what is generally used um, in jamaica but they they bought the whole uh, uh, ready made uh, shape and then they just put it there and you would see that you know these uh, big apartments which are which are built in a very fast fast way uh, not all of them 
but not all of them are constructed without using blocks but they are they are buying ready made ready made houses uh and uh, they are just bringing it bringing the block and just putting it in uh, so what i am trying to say that the construction is done at some other place they make the make the design and uh, wherever they want to build it they would just take that design there and just put it there um, i think uh, in some countries it is uh, it is quite uh, it is quite popular also uh, uh, i'm trying to find the talk about this yeah very but there 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 are different terms being used uh, one is uh, prefabricated um uh, homes yeah brief prefab or pre prefabricated uh homes let me share the screen again but you should be running as i am saying you should be running your own search google search or whatever and uh, yeah so as you are seeing on on the screen now uh, thanks for this example terry i I, I i it it was i would not have spoken about it if you did not speak about uh construction yes prefab prefabricated homes is built off site in a factory and then shipped to a building site uh in in pieces to be assembled on the home lot is very interesting and uh, you can you can check in kingston uh some some uh, apartments are built like this so they brought in the prefabricated you know the shell and then they fix it on the on the on the site so the terminology is uh, prefabricated uh, homes yeah um, look at this this is how it looks so you see this 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 little home here is prefabricated so all of this design which you can which you can see all of this design the windows the whatever where this curve on the top the roof all of this is made in the in the plant and then you buy these things and you bring it in and then you just construct them so the labor cost and all of that goes down the time to make all of these things go down um it is just like you know you just like cycle you know the, you buy the cycle um from um, from the the parts and uh, you assemble it when it reaches you um yeah it is just like that uh, of course a little bit of you know know how is required so you might need some people who can who can definitely do this but um, you can't really a regular person cannot really uh, tell the difference and this technology is improving uh, more and more over a period of time and then there are some countries where uh, they they do it uh, on a on a very big scale uh, and there are big companies involved in uh, in doing this so what we are trying to say is that no matter which industry you are you can select the industry you can select the business type whatever you like and then see how the product design has been changing over a period of time how it has changed uh like these things like the concept of smart home like one friend mentioned that she could you know um, adjust the knobs of her her stove uh, using her smartphone we would see these type of things maybe in a in a movie or in some you know uh, like 10 years ago 15 years ago we would watch a movie which would have these things and we would say that you know these things are just in the movie and they are not possible uh and things are 
things are linked with each other as you are thinking about uh, smart homes the design of that product it is linked with so many other industries as you, it is linked with smart roads it is linked with smart cars self driving cars see how that product design has changed over a over a period of time um even simple things i was looking at this advertisement of uh uh of of benz mercedes benz where they were saying that uh it was very hard to reverse uh in a parallel park uh some years ago but now you can just press the button in your benz and it will parallel park uh in a tight spot and they demonstrated it uh, i'm sure you are aware of these type of uh, things because most of most of people are interested in cars and stuff like that so think about these things how how these things are linked with each other product design um any other example which uh, so what i'm trying to say when you go in the in the super store uh, supermarket um just walk through the different uh, spaces see how they have one pro uh, for the same category of like brushes like toothbrush hair brush or any other thing uh, which you which you would like to look at how they have different 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 designs in that uh in other things like you know the design of uh like i was reading some report that how covid 19 is going to change the design or layout of uh, various spaces uh like maybe they were saying it will become a norm to sanitize your hand and that this type of practice is going to become you know maybe stay with us for a longer period of time uh so that is that is how do you design a space where you know this the distance how do you design that space um uh, so you can keep distance between between people uh although although the the space is small but still you can sometimes manage those type of things you must have seen in banks like you know the there are a lot of people in the bank and the way they make them stand in a zigzag type of row uh it uh, in a smaller space lot of people can can fit in the fast food also when you go there you have must have seen the the way they have made people stand in in the in the row uh, in a smaller space you can accomplish a lot so that is part of design uh even simple things like the parking lots which you uh, which wherever you wherever you go in the parking lots think about it is it is it designed properly or uh what what else they could uh do to improve the design this is the all of all of the things which i have been saying for for last one hour the ultimate thing is for you to do is any any product you look at it any design you look at it always ask yourself that how they could have improved what, what should be different if you were product designer what would you do to this product think on these lines uh, you are holding a pen you are working on a laptop you are working on some soft uh, working using some software or social media i gave you examples of facebook and all of that or your phone look at your phone where is the camera where is the where is the turn on button where is the turn off button what are different mechanisms in in it uh just reflect uh you are sitting in your car look where everything is uh maybe you you never look look at it in this way like uh look at in in a little you know from the way a designer would look like if you had to design where would you uh, put the vent for uh where would you put the vent for air condition where should be the vents uh and in different cars you will see there there they, they do it differently even the size of the vents and everything the design they are totally different in many cars where do they where do they put it um 
like things like you know where uh, in different cars they they the the double indi indicator light double indicator light where where would you put the that light the button for that light uh these type of things if you if you do it over a period of time before you know your uh, your design uh, uh, design aesthetics they just naturally improve you don't necessarily have to like really work on it you just are going through in your daily routine or wherever things you are passing and just pick few things which you like and just ask yourself if you were designer how would you how would you make make it change and just for different products do it every day you know every now and then do one or two products which you are you know like in in the, in your office where sh the lift is where the lift is if you were the designer of the of the of the of the lift where would you put the lift yeah uh, the stairs are the stairs are where they are but if you had to design them redesign the where is the best place for the for the for the stairs uh, to be so this i think you should definitely do and uh, you will you will enjoy it and appreciate you know different type of products um over a period of time you will also know your your own um, liking about the design you will also know that this is the type of design you like um uh, so yes anyways any any other example which which is coming to your mind uh, before i any anything you want to talk about that would be nice uh, quite yes. a few people eating people are yes yes all right um i was just thinking about the, the when you take the selfie right and you you, you yeah. stretch pose and you want to hold that pose but then you have to stretch with your hand to touch the, the camera um <laughs> kind of pose up the pose that you made so i'm thinking yeah. that if i were to design something like that i would um evolve into like say just um for for the, the phone to to listen like to, to, to by the snap of a finger or a, a voice um thing where i say okay now yeah. yes yes so i don't have to cut my hand and change my phone. Yeah, yes. so yes. it's already exists it already yes, is very a good. Of phone, so you just have to turn on the feature. Yes, yes, Walter, but she did not know. So this is her idea. She came up with this. She did not know it already exists. So, so very good. But as Walter is saying, in some, in some, um, in some uh, phones, you can, you can, you can, you can do that. But this is how you are, you are thinking. It doesn't matter, you know. Um, it doesn't but very good terry this is this is the way you you think say and this is how the person who came up with this thing and it is available in in uh, in phone nowadays uh, uh this is what they were thinking this simple thing like how would i design it so terry is absolutely correct that when this thing was not available people were extending their hand and whatever like sometimes it when you are have extended your hand it it kinds of difficult to find the button where it is and you want to seize it seize the movement and uh, it it kinds of becomes a challenge unless you have taken a lot of selfies and you you are pro in that in that thing so anything like this uh, uh anything like this uh, you know it it improves the improves the functionality or consumer customer experience uh, very good terry well done Yes, anyone else? What would, Walter, you would want to uh, say something? Or anyone else, doesn't really matter. Any product, any design which you like or which you would like to improve or anything from your home, from office? Uh, Yes, Walter, I would like to ask you. Um, no, no particular product comes to mind at the moment. Okay. 
Okay, right. no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. So this is this is okay. Sometimes you know, you can't mm -hmm. think of anything um, right now. But I would encourage everyone that please um, look around things you are you know, things you are using. Ask yourself how you would make make it different. Uh, uh, appreciate different type of styles. You know, we sometimes what happens that we uh, we we tried we you start once we start liking some similar type of product we just keep on buying that same type of like the brush like the the sweeping uh, whatever mops or whatever you are buying you are buying similar type of mop again and again and again uh, but maybe try something something different one time just to see you know how this how this maybe you should try this or maybe you should try that uh, i think that that also but, increases sir. the yeah sir most of the um the the, the 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 product design sometimes comes out of personal experience you know yeah very good as i was very trying good. To say earlier um which i as you said i didn't really know that whatever product was with the thing was out. that's okay that's most, okay. yes most of the designs comes out of persons probably having a difficulty with, with or a challenge with something that yeah. they have and there they, and then somebody say oh maybe this is a better way of doing it and they sit down and they understand and then they try to 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 to, to read according to their to, 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 so to speak. excellent excellent terry thanks thanks very much and thanks thanks for helping me with the with the words terry like this is exactly what it is like if you want to become a successful operations manager production manager one thing you need to do is make improvements like with whatever is existing so anything whatever is existing in plant you want to make improvements how you are going to maybe make improvements if you don't experience them yourself so as terry explained us very nicely that you know from personal you know personal usage you use it you see you don't like something and then you say all right let me do it like this and let me do it like that so the more things you have used uh the wider your experience is, the wider your experience is, the more uh, you have you have uh, data points in your head to reflect on whenever you are thinking about uh, these type of things. So these couple of things, I think you should do it uh, in your home, at work, wherever you are, when you go to grocery stores, uh, supermarkets, uh, look around. It's not a lot of time you need to spend five, 10 minutes, 10 minutes are more than enough for 10 minutes. If you stand in the in the place where they have hair brushes, you, you on, on a big play on a like if, if you go to the big store like Mega Mart and go to the section where the hair brushes are, I'm sure they have a lot of you lot, but you select your product, you go any product. And just see, you know, on a big store like Mega Mart, go there, see what different things are, what different designs are available for the same same type of product. Uh, how they have made the changes. What are the smaller details on it? You can do it for logo designs. You can do for so many things. Uh, just observe, you know, these type of things. And then. This is part one and part two would be you would you would be asking yourself what you would make, how you would make it different based on as Terry explained your personal experience. You can ask your family members once they have used that product once you once you maybe bought some products and uh, your family members can maybe tell you and you are not necessarily changing any any product design because you are maybe you are not in that field yet. but in other aspects of business, this thing is going to help you. Uh, if you are in some meeting where they are thinking about any type of design change on any type of product, your feedback is going to become very, you know, you, people will listen to you like this person knows something about it just from so and you just by this simple activity. I personally learned a lot by doing this over a period of time. So I'm sure you you will you will learn from that 
sir, what I find, and I can't even use myself, sometimes some of us don't even put the effort out to even learn how to use the phone and the different technologies that apply to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's the truth. And a lot of persons, if you're not tech savvy and all those other things, all you just want the phone to do, even though you buy this high-end smartphone, all you want to know is just to answer the phone, maybe send a WhatsApp message. Some of us don't even, the phones have so many different features that we don't even delve into it. I myself, I'm guilty of that as well. That's and very true. Very, very have to show me, my millennials have to show me how to use the phone and even put on the different stuff and they even teach me. So I'm being honest, many of us are guilty. If you're not that picky savvy and want to you know the different features, the ins and outs, what this can do. Yeah, it's not that picky. Very good. Yeah. Very good, very good. And and as a matter of fact, this, this can be a good activity to learn about product design. Just spend some time on your on your phone. If it is some 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 smartphone, uh, you can just go into different features and learn about how they work. This is part of product design. You can you can do that. And rarely anyone uses their phones to the to to the to what the phone can really do. Uh, it's not about necessarily about age or something. It is, it is no one really used because these smartphones, uh, uh, they are, they can do a lot of things, and but we don't use those things in our in our life. Even even how you are going to text, uh, there are faster ways. Some people are still, you know, typing the uh, typing the things, and you guys must have seen that it is it it now auto generates, you know, words, and over a period of time, if you have uh, typed uh, some documents in the phone or in the laptop. Of course, if the if the feature is enabled, then it can very uh, precisely, you know, tell you that what what are the few next words you are thinking, uh, provided that you have done some type of typing before uh, yourself. So it can pick the uh, pick the pick the words. Uh, uh, now that thing is now linked with artificial intelligence, the role of artificial intelligence in, in business. Uh, so very good. Uh, please think about these things uh, as you get. It's called prediction um, text, sir. When yes, you're typing a sorry. message and the phone completes it. When you're typing a yeah. message and the phone um, completes the word for you, it's called predictive text. Very good. Predictive. Yes. Very good. Very good. So our friend is giving us the terminology. It is good to know these terminology because then when you will uh, run the Google search, uh, it will be easier uh, for 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 you to find things like this. So, yes, please, uh, please do these activities and uh, see what you can uh, make make from that. Let me go on. Uh, if you want to talk about some some product uh, you can but most important thing is to really take time to reflect on this and as our friend just mentioned very rightly that even the gadgets which we have like cell phones we are not using them you know properly same goes for for the things which we have uh, we have at our home um, i really doubt that many people have taken the time to really see these smaller things like how how the how the switch is on and off switch is in different rooms, how it looks in your office, how the on and off switch is on campus, uh, where you have been taking classes, how it is at your home, uh, because we would just go and turn on and go on because we are not paying attention to to that thing at all. Generally speaking, generally speaking, maybe some of you do that, and if you do that, then that is very good. But those of us who don't do these smaller things, uh, please, uh, please look into look into these things. Uh, like our friend a while ago, she spoke about uh, stove, the button of stove, uh, how it looks, how the button of stove is 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 on different stoves. Uh, there are there are the ones which you rotate. There are ones which you press. There are ones which you slide. Uh, so. You go on these these shops and just you know look at different different things how and and the and the modern ones don't even have buttons to be honest 
if i can complete <laughs> that that conversation now the the buttons are like in the modern fridges the fridge uh, which i which i'm looking which i looked they don't have i did not necessarily see a button button uh, it was uh, like uh, just like our phone it is touch screen in the modern um, uh, smart fridge uh, it is kind of touch same is for the uh, for the for the washing machines same is for the stove you just need to go to some high end shop in kingston uh, where they sell electronics and like spend 10 minutes there and see what is what is going on and you that is for the local environment but you can go on um, like amazon amazon sell all different type of products so you just uh search for the product you want to look at a radio phone a cassette player whatever it is um and then see how different shapes and different things come up and then try to reflect why they are making these different different things and then you know uh, maybe listen to some uh, youtube clips uh on what is the background what goes in the background of these designers how it is when you are when you are doing a course in strategy for example you need to link it with with that like strategy in that one you can pose this this question uh for a debate in that class uh like all all you guys who are taking strategy class you can pose this type of question that uh how how the strategy is linked with all these things which we are talking about and then maybe you know reflect on this in your marketing class you can maybe pose this type of question that uh how marketing is linked with pro product design what is the connection uh some friends mentioned i think uh, in the chat uh, someone mentioned uh, demographics or something like that uh yes demographics yeah uh so that is something which is linked with marketing and then how product design would be influenced so that all those things i think uh you should you should do you don't learn about these things in like just in a short period of time but if you if you are just paying attention observing uh wherever you are going you are now you when you go to a restaurant you go there they have design of different forks different you know how how the design of overall atmosphere where you enter what are the things they have put on the entrance where they have put the plants where they are putting what type of lights where the light is dim where the light is high you do this type of activity for let's say 4 months 5 months and you are you would you can't you can't really imagine how much you would learn so i would really encourage you to do these type of activities and uh, i'm sure uh, the outcome would be great for you you would not even know and you would have learned so many things and it will show in your conversation and and so on okay so i think that is decent start so let's look at some some things on the on the on the website and try to link it what we have said of course the topic is very huge but we would like to like to limit it uh, like this one i have turned off the i have turned off the so i am on the on the website uh, the link is on rvle uh from there i have played one video i have turned off the volume because uh don't necessarily listen to what they are saying you can do that later on just look at this how beautiful this is how they are using technology in a tight space uh using this or using technology how they are able to park so many cars and uh how they have ensured that it is safe and cars don't uh, fall from this because look at this this is quite high how many stories are there can you count 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My God, it is like more than 20, 20 stories. And, and on a tight space, it's not a very big space if you look at it. And it is just this one machine. See, it's the machine is um, on that rack and uh, it is trying to take out a car and it takes it out and uh, it's now is going to bring it down most likely. So this is what, you know, uh, as Terry was saying, most of the design comes from, you know, people use parking and then maybe they are not satisfied and they have less space. So they take, sit down, the designers, the product design, the, the architect, the technology people, all these people, they come together, sit down and then see how in the smallest size, smallest space, they can build something uh, like this. See, it's, it's very interesting. It's simple concept. But uh, imagine that if you if you own this type of it's the uh, it's the initial expenditure is of course high because uh, technology is involved and uh, you have to make these type of racks and uh, precise precision uh, parking at the exact spot all of this so yes some sensors and all of those things would be would be would be in this. Um, but see, in the in the cities, we spoke a while ago. We spoke about smart city and all of that. So um, the cities which are busy uh, in those type of places where parking is a problem, if you can create something like this, can imagine that uh, how beneficial it can be. And then I think they give you the number and. You just go away and then you come back and put in the coins and you are not seeing any human being uh, to be honest uh, yes maybe the human beings are on the on the front but once the car comes in here it is all machine and it just using the sensors and stuff like that and it finds where it should be parked uh, and so on yeah a very interesting these type of things you can you can think about uh, this clip uh this is like five five minute long but i don't want to spend our time on this here. uh 13 minute long so i don't want to spend our time um on this here uh but uh is this like website design um if you liked the pointers which i made about pepsi and logo design and all of that please find 13 minutes uh, from your life and watch it uh, you are going to learn a lot of new things. Although this video clip is 2014, like six, seven years old, but the principles remain same. Very nicely, she has explained um, all the concept behind design and websites. And um, so you would have to link it. So please, I would encourage you to watch it in your, in your own time. Uh, this one, um, Again, this one is uh, is a longer clip, so it's like 10 minutes. So I'm not going to play the clip and show it to you, but uh, very briefly we can maybe you know look at this. Uh, this is his his apartment, his home. See how small it is, uh, small space. Uh, but you would see what he has. He was able to put behind the these. Uh, these uh, cabinets, if I can call them, it's a very small apartment, but he has everything which you can imagine. Or, of course, he does not have a sw swimming pool and stuff like that. But look at this: how he was able to put uh, so many things uh, in this small space, and now it is becoming even more exciting because uh, look at this now: he has he's going to take out his his bed full size full size bed for himself uh, two people easily can is can hold it and uh, how he is he has put that in the in the balcony side yeah so what i'm trying to say in both of these examples the parking example and uh, and this this example of uh, of apartment 
the space is uh, is small but what you do with that space uh, mm-hmm. can be can be amazing and he has full size kitchen uh, by full size i mean that all the things which are essentially required in the in the kitchen uh, when you will play it uh, play it again and listen to what he's saying and explaining and you would be amazed uh, how he is uh, doing various things in this and then he has that very nice shower yeah uh, and how he has he has he was able to you know maximizing from the from the space and he also has like uh, they showed the shower there but he also has the toilet and all of those things also in this and now he has uh, invited his friend or something like that so it's look at this in the tight spot how they are using uh, different space this this they are using now as a as a dining space also so the space is for the bed but on the top is the designing and uh, very interesting uh in a small very small space so this is just to make you reflect that uh, many times we if we have look at this outside they have created this and uh, essentially they are sitting on their bed so bed is below them uh, remember that place where he draw his bed from so this is the outside where he and then he puts that <laughs> very interesting like on a, a small space design is a big thing um you can you can make a big place look small how you lay out and you can make see four people are sitting and dining in in this small space which has like essentially all the all the basics yeah so you can you can watch this uh in your own time yeah uh, uh design can be you know sometimes ethical ethical considerations and uh, those things you might want to think about also for that i selected uh, let me just preface uh, my we were uh, essentially this is the courtroom hearing uh asking questions from uh, from the ceo of toyota um you might have heard uh, various recalls uh, for various malfunctions in various com- from various companies we are not saying anything against toyota of course uh, it is uh, it is very reliable brand and very good but every now and then companies make mistakes and uh, in this one also uh you would see that the type the, in the it's a 6 minute long clip you would see that uh, a small change in the design led to some problems some breaking problems and when you will listen to how the c explains uh and he's right about it the change was very minor and they did not really um really foresee although um, top brains are sitting in the company they did not foresee that small change in design is going to le- led to disaster now here i think he's explaining this listen to this floor pedal mechanism that's used in japan and in some cars here in america this is one that's uh, manufactured by cts here in the united states and it is cts and they have done a good job on this this pedal here has been involved in the accidents i believe that have caused the fatalities this one here there's been sticking and they've been putting a shim in there a little metal piece in to correct that and my question is why the difference these are going in the same model car and why do why do they have different specifications because this one here has caused the problems that created some deaths and this one here has had some sticking problems which have been created or corrected but it's different and so when when you're manufacturing the same car why is it that they don't meet the same exact specifications it seems to me that would be easier to correct than having one that's made one way and one that's made another way あの同じものなんですあの車はですねご存知のように2万点から3万点の部品から成り立っております
。で、その車の設計は、えー、仕入れ先と協力してやってることをまずご理解賜りたいと思います。Uh, as a congressman already knows, a car consists of some 20,000 to 30,000 parts. And I would like you to understand 20,000 to 30,000 parts. And I would like you to first of all know,、uh, know that we work together with the suppliers in designing those parts. Well, well, if, 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 I might, if I might interrupt, I understand that you work with the suppliers, but the designs are different. Yes, so essentially, this, this point I would want you to pay attention to where they say that in the car there are 20 to 30, you know, thousand parts, and then they said that they work with the suppliers. In terms of designing the product. Yeah. So I would like you to reflect on these things、uh, how various stakeholders are involved in the、uh, designing process. And then something like this can happen where, you know, when, in the, when you are designing, everyone is on board and everyone g i v e their feedback and you go one way. But then sometimes things happen and then you, are, you have to be answerable to these t y p e of. These t y p e of you know, situations,、uh, which can be very,、uh, very difficult、uh, for the company and bad reputation and all of those things. But design is、uh, quite an quite interesting、uh, thing to look at. So please watch these clips、uh, in, your, in your own time, reflect on these things.、Um, this website, I've posted this website here, IDEO. An、interesting website you can visit here, and then you know you can you can maybe reflect on some of the things which they are they are mentioning.、Um, I would also like you to reflect on、uh, what should be some of the characteristics of、um, of 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 a person who is involved in、uh, in design. Can anyone、um, share their thoughts on this? Like the life you are if you're going to. People who are going to design the product, product design, what are some of the characteristics you think they should, they should have?、Um, any thoughts on that? So, the question is that a person who is going to be involved in product design, what, some,、uh, what are some of the personal characteristics you would、uh, look, look in, in them? Because this course is production and operation man management. So, you might, might be working as a junior. Or you know, something、uh, junior staff in operations or something like that. So, you might be involved in you know, finding some people who, who are going to design your product. So, when you are selecting those people, you are maybe sitting in the interview、uh, panel. What are some characteristics you would look in a person when you are getting them as a, as a product? Uh, designer. Okay, user friendly,、uh, interesting point by Terry.、Uh, that is important.、Um, the product should be user friendly. Okay, Kimoya,、uh, creativity.、Uh, now, creativity is、uh, how do you assess if someone is creative, creative or not?、Uh, that is an interesting thing to reflect on. Uh, open minded, okay. Maybe have experienced different products,、uh, maybe have had、uh, worked in different uh, uh, product cat categories. Techn technology know how, tech savvy, yes, that can be very interesting.、Uh, yeah, knowledge of maybe modern, modern technologies, upcoming technologies like you know, 5G. Uh, maybe uh, maybe、uh, good know how of materials, a different t y p e of materials, because we did not speak about materials, although that is a big part of、uh, product design, what material you are going to use. So、um, you must, you, I'm just assuming that most of you are sitting somewhere. So, how is that seat in, on which you are sitting? Is it comfortable? Is it not comfortable?、Uh, like,、uh, how would you change the, change the seat if you had to you know, 
make any adjustment to that can you go back on that on that seat is at that, that flexi flexible flexible back or is it rigid um those type of things you can think about um uh, anyways critical thinking researcher of information on products yes very good terry i think this is this is very interesting and important someone who has done some research read some papers have been looking at the evolution of different products uh have read a lot on these type of things and then have some practical experience also very good researcher that is that is good so research is research is essentially something if you good in research you are useful in uh, in many different fields um openness well rounded mind mindset expertise these type of things so very good i have also posted a clip for you guys to watch to look at some of the characteristics um this one characteristics of a designer engineer it's two minute long it explains you what is what is design what is a design engineer and so on it's a very short clip uh but you can uh, watch it and look at the characteristics and then maybe uh, do your own research on youtube on google read on these thing a little little wider to um really understand what is going on let me open uh, some some files maybe we can touch on touch on few things maybe okay so this one is interesting um uh, some guidelines which help operation managers achieve the achieve ethical and environmental friendly designs so with designs uh, always uh, companies are at least trying that uh, their design is ethical and environmental friendly and sustainable i gave you couple of examples uh, like you know that uh, biodegradable a water bottle drink i think terry gave you couple of examples i think eatable eatable uh, eatable uh, plastic uh, eatable plates and cutlery and those type of things they are there yes so you can uh, you can run some search on that but these are six guidelines uh, so for example number 1 is make product recyclable so product is re is the ability in the product that it can be recycled uh like we did not speak about these uh, these uh, these new bags uh, which are coming uh, recyclable bags uh, paper bags they are made uh, of certain material uh, i was looking at i i stopped by this uh, this coffee coffee place uh, cafe blue uh, and uh, starbucks uh, last week so if you get a chance to go there um look look at their uh, look at their bags the plastic bags which they give give you they have written few things uh, on it uh, like what percentage is recyclable and what material it is made up of and all of all of that also i saw this uh, on wendy's bag uh, once i had a chance to go to wendy just to try how they taste uh, i just went there once uh, but uh, i i remember that on their bag also um they had written this type of thing which which shows that the the bag is recyclable and and so on uh, like it it bio uh, like it it goes back in the environment that is what i mean use recycled material uh, use less harmful ingredients which are less harmful for the environment use lighter comp components number point number 4 uh, use less energy we we briefly spoke about energy saving bulbs and smart houses those type of things uh, use less material of course yeah so these are six uh, guiding principles this is taken from your book uh, from the chapter where they talk about product design so i think uh, 
but did not speak about anything about technology so in your own time please think about that Techno the link of technology uh yes biodegradable thanks uh thanks for the word melissa okay i'm going to um quickly go through the slides to see if there is something which i want to really talk about but uh, it is in your own time you need to do these things you need to read the chapters and slides and so on and of course prepare your for your exams which are uh, multiple choice type of exams yeah so look at this product design for example the definition the objective of the product design is to develop and implement a product strategy yeah so what is the strategy of your product and without even looking at the slides without even reading the book chapter you guys mentioned it in the earlier part that uh, the strategy is uh, is very very important in all of this that meets the demands of the marketplace with a competitive advantage of course you are uh, dealing with uh, your competition so you want to offer your consumer with something which uh, your competition is not offering and you want to make your product stand apart and one way to make your product stand apart is uh, pricing and uh, when you are using lighter material when you are um, doing that of course you are bringing your cost down um, cost also you can argue that uh, your product cost less for the environment because it is biodegradable or whatever you know, there are different terminologies which are i remember on the on the wendy's uh, on the wendy's bag they had used some uh, terminology very difficult one uh, i don't remember what they said and then i came and i i kept that bag and then i ran a google search and read about it uh, and i was pretty impressed that uh, they are using uh, that type of bags uh, so i would i would encourage you you know you need to do these type of things if you want to learn on your in your own time you see some bags or something there is no shame in you know uh, reading and what what it says and it's it usually it is in the fine print so just look and uh, you don't know what some terminology you come home and run a google search and see what is going on okay product design um in strategy of course these are the things which you look at how to differentiate low cost rapid response we spoke about these things we did not maybe use the these terms but uh, this one see product life cycle is coming again and again uh, in the last discussion it came the one before that it came so that shows that uh, how important it is to understand uh, life cycle this is this is from your marketing basic course um, you look at it look, you look at product life cycle and and so on um, like this introduction growth stage maturity decline not hard to understand so spend some time on that research you guys mentioned that uh, supplier development the part which where i um, let you hear the voice in the toyota video uh, remember they were talking about how toyota works with the supplier to improve product uh, so you are also not just developing your product you are also helping the supplier develop uh the product also uh so uh, in the in the end everyone is winning the consumer is getting the uh best uh, best product in terms of what they are paying in terms of it is user friendly it is uh, fulfilling the purpose for which it was made uh, and then the seller is making most from it uh, because uh, consumers are happy so more if more consumers are happy then we can assume that you are doing more sales you are your business is profitable because people like your product and they are buying it and then you are also helping your supplier to improve uh, their research and development so your supplier is also benefiting from the feedback of uh, of uh, consumer and uh, uh, consumer is giving you feedback as the business and you are giving that feedback to the supplier 
that can be a very good uh, a good strategy for the for the for the long run uh, for example this word value analysis yeah please run a run a google search on this value analysis yeah essentially you are trying to understand what is the value of that product for for you for your consumer for the for the end end customer value analysis uh, run a google search on that as a matter of fact the the uh, i used the term uh, value meal a while ago what 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 it is called value meal or it is something else the these ones which kfc kfc uh, sell uh, or is it some other word meal de a meal deal big deal big deal something like this yeah so essentially they are they are saying that uh, if you buy uh, if you buy uh, all these things which are coming in the in this big bo big box then we can ask you for this price so but if you will if you will uh, buy these things separately then the cost is uh, is high like when you let's say you buy a uh, you buy a value meal of uh, of the burger chips and the soda together it it might cost you let's say 500 but if you go to the same place and you say you give three different orders you don't buy value meal you say one order is burger one separate order is fries one separate order is uh, is uh, soda and you will see the price is different so when you are ordering those same things <laughs> differently the price is higher yeah you can you can do that experiment uh, so that is why they call it value meal so that comes from the term term value analysis but read read on this a little bit it might uh, it might help you um in maybe in mcqs or something like that new product opportunities uh, how to get those you guys mentioned uh, technology for example that is number 4 and from earlier conversations you can think about you know this political legal change market practices economic change you guys mentioned sociological and demographic something like that understanding the customer you guys mentioned that so all of those things are very important uh uh in product design for example this uh, qfd quality function de uh, deployment see the number one is identify cons cons consumer customer wants what do they really want and then uh, Mal malisha and uh, other friends uh, malisha and other friends mentioned that you know bu buying behavior keeps on changing consumer choice keeps on changing and then you have to you know change your strategy to that and then i showed you that just changing the logo of pepsi it cost them uh, uh, usd 1 million dollar and you saw the change it was not something like it changed to something totally different uh, you some people can say it was a minor change but read more on that you will find out uh, all it was minor uh, but uh, it was quite uh, quite uh, interesting for their sales and uh, connecting with their uh, with their customer yeah so all these things evaluate competing products identify relationship between the firms uh, you would want to do these type of things yeah different type of uh, different type of technologies they have mentioned uh, in the slides but because the slides are very old that is why they are talking about these things but still they, these are these are used uh, computer aided design yeah computer is essentially helping you to make the design i showed you that example of uh, of uh, ready made uh, homes uh, 
where where you where the where the home or the or the shell is made in the plant and you and you just buy it and you bring it to the location where you want to construct your home and you just put it there so that many times it is done uh through these type of you know computer aided designs computer helps in maximizing uh the utility of the of the space and it helps you uh, make a design uh of the of the home or where to put wh what to put where so you can maximize from the space uh, which is available to you uh virtual reality technology uh environmental friendly design uh even in these uh, these shops like uh, juicy juicy patty i trust they use uh, some type of technologies like you know uh, just to ensure just to see once the patty is out it is of the of the same shape which they which they want to uh, give to the consumer they use uh, some type of technology also there and then uh, and then of course uh, because the scale is uh, not that big at least in one shop so there are human beings there of course and they are looking at you know the looking at the design or shape of the of what is coming out of the assembly line and making some making some suggestions if they want to take out some product which is not uh, not looking the way they want it to look they, the so human eye can help when uh, especially when the when less things are coming but as more and more things are coming from assembly then of course it is best to go uh, on the technology side yeah you can look at these terminologies and run some google search on these and try to find some examples in the current environment most importantly you would want to reflect on how products are designed in in the current environment like uh, the modern companies what are the things what is the thought process going behind of course we spoke about the basics like research and consumer behavior consumer choice competition offerings culture we looked at the basic and uh, i'm sure many other things are coming in your mind but you definitely should look at some modern company uh, where they are coming up with some new product and maybe listen to their you know uh, interviews online and uh, in the interviews you know you can learn a lot from that ethics environment we spoke a little bit on that Uh, of course there are so many things which you can think about in environment uh, just run a google search environment sustainability product designs and then type anything like for example shoes environment sustainable um, let's do it now environment sustainable shoe for example yeah so 10 footwear brands that makes sustainable sneakers uh look at this and this is very new look at this 2021 21st uh january yeah i am happy that i ran this search very nice 10 footwear brands that make sustainable sneakers from recycled and renewable material renewable that's very interesting yeah and they are 10 adidas yeah adidas is doing something now the shoe looks perfectly normal but when you will do some research on it you will find that this is made from as they are saying from recycled uh, material yeah over 300 million pairs guys please if you are doing something else come here for a moment and pay attention to this i think this is important 
Over 300 million pairs of sneakers are thrown out annually. 300 million annually. <laughs> it can take 30 to 40 years for a pair to decompose in a landfill. 30 to 40 years. And this is what I was referring to a while ago, like maybe one hour ago when we were saying that even if you, even if the, the people who collect the garbage from us, whatever they do with, with that garbage, it takes forever for it to decompose. And here they are telling us 30 to 40 years for one pair of these thrown shoes. And there are how many? 300 million pairs. And now there are these 10 uh, companies which are doing something on, on. So please find some time to, you know, scan through this. And Nike is doing it. Adidas is doing it. Uh, very interesting. So they are using some type of, you know, environment sustainability in their, in their, in their shoes. And definitely Adidas is, uh, is big. So maybe you can just run a search for Adidas. Yeah. Great. So on the website of Adidas, you are going to see this and you can read it. And the plastic waste. As you open their website for sustainability, the first thing they show you, and plastic waste. See how big they are. So they must be doing remarkable things on this. So please read this in detail. Plastic waste is a problem. Innovation is our solution. This is international business, Adidas. Yeah, so they are. This is great. This is great. We are shifting to using 100% recycled polyester in our products by 2024. 100%. Yeah, to address the overall carbon footprint situation. Very good. Uh, please find some time. Run a Google search on Adidas environment sustainability shoe, something like that. Uh, and uh, learn about what they are doing. So that would be practical demonstration of some things which you will read in the slides and but whatever we have been discussing and you will read in the book. That is very important to link it with the with what is happening in the industry in, in the in the business in the real operations. So please do that. He briefly spoke about laws regulation using Toyota example. Uh, these terminologies, of course, you need to understand them in your own time. For example, bill of materials. If some MCQ asks you about bill of material, you should be able to, you know, uh, understand what what it is. So please spend some time understanding that. And other other terminologies which are which are being used. In the when you will read the read the chapter. For example, this movements of truth. What is movement of truth? Yeah. Spend some time with that. All right. This is this is one example which I wanted to uh, discuss before I close. BMW creative errors. BMW creative errors. It's at the this is the last posting on the on the website for product design yeah so i would encourage you to uh, read this uh, one pager uh, the claim to failure why bmw reward employee mistakes yeah this is just one page so what i'm trying to say that there are as you are trying to look into you know product development product design any Any type of you know uh, improvement in the design or something like that. Uh, these designs are just not made like you close your eyes and when you open them, the the new the new design is made. It is not like that. It is a lot of effort. A uh, lot of people come together with different you know knowledge expertise and they come together and then they you know 
make prototypes and people test them out and uh, sometimes you know the managers they take the product with themselves they use it in their home they let their children use it depending on what the product is and then take feedback and then you know it's a long process and in these type of things every now and then people make mistakes and things don't go the way the company might have thought and you know the the design fails or it needs some improvement and it's a it's a it's a work in progress type of type of thing so what companies do you know good companies like bmw of course it is it is it is known for their whatever they whatever they do well not for maybe reliability but <laughs> for other things like comfort and sound and those type of things speed they are they are known for those type of things so and that is what what their target market is looking for uh so this is very interesting one pager that how and uh, that how and why bmw reward employees uh, employee mistake it is just one pager uh, two pager if i can call it this is page 1 and this is page 2 now this is interesting read to you know and then you will find some leads on it and then you can uh, you can read read on that so this is essentially what i wanted to say about uh, product design uh, please uh, do the activities uh, which I asked you in your own time uh, over a period of time of course beyond this this semester uh, and maybe when we do some other course in the future uh, you can uh, you can you can maybe bring whatever you learn in some type of discussion in terms of product design because things are linked yes uh, thanks very much